In this video, we solve a typical IB Math Studies exam question involving arithmetic sequences. Now, we're asked to consider the finite sequence shown here. Negative 6, negative 2, 2, 6, a few more terms, we don't know how many, and we can see that the final term of the sequence is 90. And we're asked to write down the value of this sequence's common difference, we're also asked to calculate the value of the 15th term. And finally, we're asked to find the number of terms in this sequence. Now, let's go ahead and get started. To begin with, to write down the value of this sequence's common difference, well, really, it's all about knowing the definition of the common difference. The common difference is the amount we add to each term in an arithmetic sequence to get from one term to the next. So here we can see that our sequence goes negative 6, negative 2, 2, 6, etc., etc., all the way up to 90. Well, it doesn't take us too long to realize that to get from one term to the next, we're consistently adding 4. So in other words, the common difference is 4, and we write this d equals to 4. The next question, b, we're asked to calculate the value of the 15th term. Well, to do this, what we really need is to know the formula for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. And this is in the IB formula booklet. And the formula is un, the nth term, equals to u1 plus n minus 1 times d. Well, we already know what d is from question a. That's the common difference 4. And u1 is simply the first term of the sequence. So in this case, that's negative 6. So we know that u1 equals to negative 6, and the common difference d equals to 4. So we can go ahead and write un, the nth term, equals to negative 6 plus n minus 1 times 4. And so for the 15th term, we simply need to replace n by 15 and calculate. That would be u15 equals to negative 6 plus 15 minus 1 times 4, leading us to negative 6 plus 14 times 4. This leads us to negative 6 plus 14, 14 times 4, which is 56. Finally, u15 is equal to 50. Our last question here is very common in IB exams. We're asked to find the number of terms in this sequence. Well, because this is a finite sequence, it means there's a fixed or set number of terms in the sequence, meaning it has an end. We can see here in the question that the last term is 90. So to figure out how many terms are in the sequence, we need to figure the value of n, which leads to the nth term being equal to 90. That's, we know that the nth term, un, is equal to negative 6 plus n minus 1 times 4. So replacing un on the left-hand side by 90, we end up with this equation. 90 equals to negative 6 plus n minus 1 times 4. And now this is an equation for n, and the solution to this equation will equal to the number of terms in this sequence. So let's go ahead. The first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to rewrite this with the 4 on the other side of the parentheses. This makes it easier to distribute. So that's 4 times n minus 1. This leads to 90 equals to negative 6 plus 4n minus 4. That leads us to 90 equals to 4n minus 10. This in turn leads us to 90 plus 10 equals to 4n, which leads us to 100 equals to 4n. Finally, dividing both sides by 4, we find that 100 over 4 equals to n. That's 25 equals to n, or n equals to 25. And so what we've just shown here is that the final term 90 corresponds to n being equal to 25. This means 
There are 25 terms in this sequence. And there we go. I hope that helps.